Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another CSGO News Weekend Recap. I hope you guys all enjoy. And first off, I am doing a flip knife, black laminate knife giveaway. In the description, guys, top link with two other YouTubers as well as one who owns a Steam group. His name is Haiti as well as TDM Jesus. TDM Jesus is actually a great YouTuber, guys. It's free to enter, so if you guys want to enter the knife giveaway, that will be linked down below. Let's hop into our first story, though. Kind of in breaking news, and of course, our first injury report in a long time, including Tyloo's member known as Captain Mo, which started out as, a, I guess you could say, kind of a joke injury. People thought he would just be fine. Apparently, Apparently he fell off his Segway and actually had a trans cervical fracture. Now updates from Tyloo on their website says he has not fractured anything up top, but it's actually a femur fracture. So it could be some very serious issues for of course him sitting down and having to play CSGO. We're waiting on news and updates from Tyloo if they're going to replace him for the time being. Of course practices are coming up sometime, I guess you could say the next few months uh, for that major and, and, and face it major going over in the UK. But again this is a, a terrible time for the team itself. Of course if they're going to replace him we're going to find out sometime soon and who knew that Segways could be that dangerous. So yes, it's actually Captain Mo from Tai Lu with a trans cervical fracture apparently in his femur, which sounds very painful. And also in very exciting news for the future of Freiburg, finally being signed from a team other than Optic Gaming. Of course, Optic Gaming going the full European roster. I still I still have uh, some weird hopes for the future of Optic Gaming, but also in huge news, they have now officially signed Freiburg to the heroic roster. After being a stand-in there for a couple weeks, he has now officially been signed as a permanent member, and I think this is actually very exciting news. If you guys know this roster, the core three members of Madi, Easy Tag, and of course, Nico have been together for quite some time. They've actually taken down some pretty good teams. Although, given the current roster on screen for all of you, of course, Rubino still is going to be uh, on the bench for the next two or three weeks. He'll be back in time for the minor qualifier as well as the minors uh, in the future. He currently has a, an eye infection that's keeping him out for the, the time being. But you take out Chrome and put in Rubino, and of course, add Freiburg as your new IGL to that team. It's a very, very solid looking European roster out there, and I do expect them as currently a top 20 team in the world. I do heavily expect them and hope to see them, at least in the minor and the major qualifier qualifier as well if they do make it through. It's a very, very solid roster. Curious thing would you guys think about this in the future as even with this core roster with Chroman in place and, and with the past roster without Freiburg and I guess you could say Rubino back in place as well, they were taking down many teams out there that are inside the top 30. We of course have them sweeping Envious. That's kind of not near as impressive as it used to be. They, they split a series with Fnatic. They also 2-0'd Windigo twice and of course they also beat other teams out there as well. So it's been really cool to see the progression of this heroic roster. They've always been kind of that build team in the Danish scene. Of course, they fall below Astralis. It kind of goes Astralis, then, then Heroic, then maybe Trick Esports, but a very solid roster going forward now that they have Freiburg in time. And also, give this, give the, given the fact that this team now has two to three months to prepare with Freiburg as their new IGL, I expect a lot from the roster, and I cannot wait to see if they do manage to qualify for our next face at Major. And then some disappointing news for any of you guys who follow the ESL Pro League relegation matches. Of course, Season 8 is going to be our next season for that. Our relegation matches happening these past few days, and unfortunately enough, guys, we will not see either Freakazoid or Steel in Pro League next season for Season 8. Unfortunately enough, it was actually Torch going 0-4. They lost both their matches, getting swept by Complexity, as well as Freakazoid's team, Swole Patrol, and it was Swole Patrol going on to lose to X Splice. If you guys do know, of course, Splice leaving the CSGO scene itself, but that roster did stick together, and congrats to them as well. That team losing their organization have now ESL Pro League next season to, of course, maybe get signed by another team out there who's willing to pay them to be in Pro League. Um, so it's really exciting to see X Splice make it, as well as Complexity, but again, kind of disappointing. Kind of both sides of the fence here, guys. I really did want to see either Freakazoid and his younger brother Cooper's team or of course Steel and Swag and AZK everyone wanted them to go through I would say they kind of choked but either way it's really really good to see that the morale is still high on those teams of course Torch still has a really good tournament coming up in June that being ESL Belo Horizonte and of course Steel also taking to Twitter guys emotions are of course they could be rattled but he seems to be you know taking it very easy they still have plenty of opportunities in the future to I guess to prove themselves as a team I, I just really unfortunate I really wanted to see either of those guys come back to Pro League as well um, but either way congrats to Complexity and to of course the X-Splice roster. It was definitely well deserved. Now on top of that, for the European side of relegation, uh, so kind of some big surprises over there. This kind of certifies in my own mind, and maybe you guys as well, the envious roster changes that are needed to happen as they will be going back to Mountain Dew League for the first time in a while, guys. They were actually sent back there by Windigo throughout the loser's bracket. Envious actually made it through the loser's bracket to that second round. If they beat Windigo, they could have gone through, but unfortunately it was T Windigo who actually beat Envious, surprisingly enough. And on top of that, guys, it also was, to no surprise, Team AGO. Very well deserve. They'll be joining us for ESL Pro League Season 8. They actually did beat Team Spirit and swept Envious as well. So the Polish team AGO on the rise. They are now going to be joining us for ESL Pro League next season. And alongside them will be Team Windigo who also beat down Envious. So Envious had plenty of opportunities to make it themselves. They will now be back in Mountain Dew League. And will we see roster changes? Will this kind of certify their position to actually change their roster? I think we can all agree it's just about time to happen. And very lastly for today's episode of CSK News guys, because I uploaded today's episode a day earlier than expected in two days time. So this 
Sunday. I'll be doing a weekend recap on Monday for CSGO News, but I know a lot of you guys watching right now don't actually watch my videos unless they're CSGO News, but I highly would encourage you guys, if you want to, to check out the channel on Sunday. I'm going to be releasing my first episode of a new series on the channel called Skin Worthy Stories. It's going to be all about you guys and you guys submitting stories to my Twitter DMs. Do not do it yet until the episode's released, but you guys all have a chance to actually earn CSGO skins by telling me some funny stories. They can be real, they can be fake, but the first story to actually start the series was really emotional, really cool, and I hope this series does take off. I'm gonna pay for all the skins out of my own pocket, so if you guys do wanna watch it and support the video, I would really, really appreciate that. So that's gonna be out Sunday, guys. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. I will see you all Monday for another news recap, and until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Goodbye.